What's up you guys, it's King. If you want to know how to draw a wolf, let's get started. First, we're going to work on a side view of the wolf sitting. Starting off with two very light circles, one bigger than the other, at an angle, just like this. They don't have to be perfect, because you're going to erase them later on. These are going to take the place of the chest, shoulder, and rear end. Next, directly connect the circles with two lines. Again, very lightly, and draw a vertical line straight down from the far end of the top circle. This is taking the place of the front legs. Bring a curved line slightly inward and down from the beginning point of the previous line. To create the hind leg, use the lower circle to form an egg shape pointing towards the upper circle. From there, draw a rectangular shape directly underneath touching the egg shape just like this. Next is the tail, which is fairly easy. Wolves don't wag their tails as much as dogs do, so this one will stay on the ground, but the tail is sort of like a curved worm-like shape here, but you can make it point up or out if you want. After that, draw another rectangle under the front legs to make the paws. Make another vertical line just like this for the back of the wolf's front leg. Make another circle on top of the upper circle about the exact same size then connect them like I'm doing here. There will be a little curve on one side for the wolf's chest area. The head has a trapezoid like shape coming out the circle the way the wolf is facing and the ears are triangles coming out at the top around the opposite side. The shoulder joint isn't necessary for wolves because their fur is so thick, but this one I wanted to be a bit skinny to show off the actual anatomy a little more. Now the hind legs have bumps at the end of the toes where the claws come from. The front paws have those same bumps, but only two should be visible from the side. There's also a joint visible at the side of the elbow. Now let's work on the fur for our wolf. Follow the rough lines you made with a sharp zigzag formation on the outer layer of the wolf, making sure to give a little extra space around the chest and back area for really thick fur coat and leave the face area alone. Erase the guidelines you made initially that are still visible. The mouth and the eyes are last parts of the wolf that I want to talk about, but I feel like it would be easier for me to explain with a closer view, so I'll draw the face of a wolf close up in this video as well. There will be a lot of details for this one, and I break a lot of them down for you, so pause whenever you need to in order to follow me every step of the way. Alright, so what we're going to do here first is create this diamond-like shape I'm making here. It's a bit hard to explain. And the ears are similar to rounded triangles that connect to the edges of the head. Make sure to keep the face symmetrical for every step we take here. Now, just a small detail, but it makes a huge difference, is a line that swoops down from the inner sides of the ears and connects to the top of the head. Next is a line that should lie underneath where the inner ear connects to the top of the head and it runs horizontally across about where the outer ear connects. To draw the eyes, start with a line curving down from the edge of the top of the top line, meeting up with the edge of the bottom line. Follow the line that I drew here for the bottom of the eye. This next part, I didn't realize I wasn't recording, but follow these dots I put up to help you and you should have no problem. The nose is a simple rounded square shape, the edges directly the same distance apart as the space between the eyes. Draw a straight line down from the eyes to measure the space, because you'll need it later. For now, we're going to start with the fur in the chest area, creating small lines that sway back and forth 
occasionally connecting with one another. Remember that wolves have dark and light layers and lines in their coats that connect at various places depending on the species. If you want to draw a wolf of a different colored fur or a different design in the fur, feel free to reference a picture of the details in that wolf's fur. I started working on the ears here, but you don't have to now because I'll come back to that with detail later. To give the wolf more depth, add a little more fur only on one side of the neck to give the appearance of the rest of the wolf's body behind it. Make sure you take your time to really put in the strands of the fur. Don't rush it, you got this. Next, a lot of wolves have spots of white or tan fur around their eyes surrounded by really dark gray or black fur. But remember that the strands of fur get shorter and shorter the closer you get to the face and each strand there are about no longer than a centimeter pointing outwards towards the rest of the body. Keep adding those small hairs in this area and consistently pointing outwards towards the rest of the body. Now let's add the whiskers, and on the snout, the hairs are split down the middle, pointing outwards. At the bottom of the nose and the chin, there are darker hairs that point outwards. Moving on, the mouth and the nose are completely black, except for a small section at the top of each that are light gray. The eyes are a lot easier than you'd think. Draw a circle inside the area you made earlier, touching the edges like how I did here. Make a black dot at the top along with the dark gradient coming down from the top, getting lighter as it descends, leaving an area at the corner for a highlight. Do this for both eyes and we'll almost be done with our wolf. Last but not least are the ears, which you can easily do if you follow two rules. The fur inside of a wolf's ear is connected to the edge and ends near the middle, so it's really dark in there. That's rule number one. Rule number two is, again, take your time. Add in those strands one by one and gradually your work will pay off. But that's all I can teach and all you need to know how to draw a wolf. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, let me know in the comments. 
Give me suggestions for what I should draw next and remember this, no matter what, keep drawing. You'll never know when you might need to draw something. King out.